Welcome to the perfect place to put a practice podcast by Scott McDonald and DrDemographics.com, the best source of demographic, psychographic, and marketing information for professionals. Hello, this is Scott McDonald of Dr. Demographics, and I have a simple question. Is your practice area growing enough? Now, you may say, well, what is enough? I'm actually going to give you a figure a little later and uh, try to use that metric as a point of measurement in the future. Well, ultimately, we have to know if the area that you're in is suitable for a practice to grow. Now, this question is a little more complex than it may appear at first. And let's talk about the issues. I started my career working as marketing manager for the California Dental Association. It was my job to meet with members to discuss recent demographic changes in the 32 dental societies, in other words, component societies in the state. The amount of growth that is found in any constituent society or component society will vary, but one has to be aware that only a portion of the area is really counted as a practice area. Now, I would discuss where the population was growing or shrinking and the possible reasons for it. Actually, no one wanted to talk about agricultural water use or the electrical grid. They're dentists, for heaven's sakes. What this all this have to do with them, specifically? Directly, probably nothing. Indirectly, their practice futures rely and still relied upon the factors of housing prices and therefore the growth of the population. So we knew that if the price of housing was modest or reasonable, it's likely the area would grow if all other things were being equal. Now, as an example, Modesto, which was in the Central Valley in California, has a sign written on an arch over its downtown with the words water, wealth, land, health. It is a reminder of the source of California's prosperity and certainly Modesto's. It was a lesson the state and the county leaders have been quick to forget and even to despise as a relic of the past. They want to forget the Central Valley was one of the most productive fruit producers in the world. But who needs fruit? The population of Modesto is relatively poor and relatively small. But it was growing consistently. And that's the point. Modesto was always a, a Central Valley success story. Now, why growth? Doctors seem to forget that they need growth in patient base just to stay even. Now, you, you do need to have an increase, even if it's modest, in order to have your practice survive. When I was just starting out, I mentioned in almost every lecture the danger to the doctors of committing fluence. That's F-W-M-T-S. One translation of the word is dragon droppings. Believe it or not, that's what fluence means. But it also was an anachronism that stood for they forgot what made them successful. This is dangerous as a myth, or there is a danger in the myth in the United States culture that we have grown too fast, that, that uh, frankly, the area is always going to continue to grow. We don't need farm workers or the working poor. Well, this is not true, of course. We should be aware the U.S. has need for fossil fuels just to stay even, but some politicians disagree. Fossil fuels are undesirable. They're dirty and icky. And we do not need more growth, right? There is an assumption that, frankly, we have all the growth we're ever going to need. But really, there's a counter argument. Of course we need oil and gas and all the other things that make the world go. Of course, we need agricultural workers and hydroelectric dams and even blue-collar workers. 
We need moms and dads and little kids too. In fact, we need to remember what made us successful and we need more growth. We need more water, wealth, land, health, and we need more doctors. Now, it's a surprise to some people to say we need doctors. It may feel like we've already got plenty of doctors. Well, we really don't. What we need, well, are cars with bench seats, and we need swimming pools with slides. And while I'm working on a wish list about how about golf courses, do we need more golf courses? Ultimately, you see, we can't afford to go backward. Like, I like growth. I like new homes that will attract old people and young families with children and family dogs. And I like kids running through sprinklers. I want all of this as a manifestation of luxury of growth. It may not be upscale growth, but you see, Kids running through sprinklers is some kind of growth and it's an investment in the future. Now, is the U.S. really growing? Well, sure, but not as much as everybody thinks. In fact, right now, the United States is growing at uh, about 0.35% per year. And as I have reported before, our birth rate is the lowest it has ever been, the lowest in history. In short, we're not even coming close to the replacement rate of 2.1 births per woman. Now, Far Eastern countries in Asia are doing much worse. China and India are said to implode. The truth is we need all of us, and we need immigrants too. There is a dangerous myth myth in the U.S. popular culture that we have grown at a fast rate, but we should be aware that the U.S. is needing fossil fuels to serve the patient base coming to our shores. We need the vestiges of growth in energy, and we do not need more growth, right? That's the popular myth. Of course that's wrong. We need oil and gas and all the other things that make the world go. Of course, we need agriculture and hydroelectric dams. We need moms and dads and little kids too. We need to remember what made the United States successful in the first place. And we need more growth. We need more water, wealth, land, health. And we need more doctors. We need a lot more doctors. So when I hear the graduation rate is declining a little bit among doctors, it alarms me. And I am, uh, and while I am working on a wish list, how about more golf courses? Practices should be increasing their patient base by about 5% per year to be viable, which means that they are actually increasing in value. When a practice does not add to its patient base of about 5%, it is falling behind. Well, let me ask you, is your practice falling behind? We have at least that many new graduates and doctors moving here from other countries. Stagnation in practice, growth means failure for everyone. Now, it's alarming that a lot of doctors believe that any competition is too much competition. But I will say that within the United States, we need more doctors and more nurses, more staff, more clerical staff. We need all of us. If you have lived overseas as I have, you probably have a sense of unmet health care needs. And that is true in all of the world. You may also have a sense of the world's demographics. They want to come to America. 
Now, I'll repeat a statistic that is not in doubt. America accepts more immigrants than all the rest of the world combined. We need immigrants. We need doctors. We need consumers. And what America needs is more growth. But there is a, a, a dream that lives within the immigrant population, and it is uh, probably a little strange that you'd think about it. But one of the reasons that people come to America is because they can be healthier here and have greater longevity than other locations. Now, doubtless, many will prove disappointed by the reality, but probably not all. So most people who come here are going to be pretty excited about it. Probably. In spite of the negatives some people have of the United States, our standard of care and quality of living, regardless of the price, is high. Practices have got to have a growth footing. They've got to think, how am I going to increase my practice? Now, we have to increase them among the many language groups and cultures that are served. We are not a monolithic country. And now some do this better than others. Not all places in the U.S. are increasing in population, but they should aspire to it, regardless of where they are in the country. If you are stuck in a place that is not growing, Dr. Demographics can help you move to a better place, a place where you can serve. Population growth is a consistent sign of the country's demographic health. It is more than the income or population growth or any other single factor of demographics that the country needs growth in order to survive. It is also so the quality of the locations and its residents. So if you want to know where can I go that might not be very far from my practice, from my hometown, where can I grow, go to find growth, we can help you. Now it is likely that our nation is going to see a tidal wave of immigrants very soon. In fact, I don't think that people are quite prepared for the number of people who want to come to the United States, not just from Mexico or Latin America, but from everywhere. America is the last best hope of the world. In Asia and in Europe, people are going to come. Now, demographers point to several reasons for this growth and much of it is because of the situation back home. Countries that are not free, that are totalitarian, uh, communist, really don't have much chance of success. Much of it is due to how fine it is in America. Regardless of the cause, this time represents an opportunity for growth and expansion in the United States, as well as around the world, and we need to be aware of it. I'm not saying that we ought to have growth willy-nilly of every country in the world, but I'm going to say it's a little unique to be an American because so many people want to join us. Now, Dr. Demographics has a practice site viability report. We are able to say that this neighborhood or this little area is going to be viable as a practice site. We also have the marketing report, which talks about how to attract people to this location. Please go to drdemographics.com. You can see the various reports that we offer, and they're not very expensive. Or you can give us a call at 800-849-0499. Now the idea is we want to find the places that have the most potential for increased value in the United States. We can help you to do that.